every now and then all of us takes a little dip and we need someone there or a neighbor to come and say, you know what, I see where you are and I can give you a helping hand. Who do you help and, and when do you help? The need well exceeds what people realize, what the average citizen thinks funding is going to. They're seeing just a, a microcosm of the greater need. We will always have challenges, and what I see United Way doing is really rising to the challenge to address those needs. And I think United Way did an excellent thing when they created those impact community visioning councils. And they created them out of people out of the community so that they could see what was going on in the community, they could see what was needed. And what I love about United Way is as we've moved to the community impact model, it's adapting to the changing needs of our community. There are certainly programs out there that are far superior now to where they were several years ago. Part of it is the coaching from the staff and the assistants and figuring out how to manage these processes. And part of it is the funding that they've been able to count on. Not only do I get the funds, but now I get access to all that great expertise and knowledge that can help me and help our agency and in the long run, help our local government, help our county just be able to thrive and survive. We can change a community and allow them to bring in the experts and the expertise to really make a difference and an impact. We have so many designated contributions. So when designations come in, we're told that the funds have to go to a particular agency. And that agency may or may not even put in a request for funding in a particular year, but yet the funds still have to go to that agency. If we had those designated funds as part of a general fund that we could allocate, we would be able to fund perhaps all of the requests. But if not all of the requests, at least far more than we have. If you allow us to combine your funds with those of others in the community, we can change a program and the results that we expect from the agencies that are providing services in our community are monitored, tracked, and shared with the community at large. You know, it comes from our community, it flows through the United Way, and they're able to laser point and direct that funding to have the greatest impact. The United Way funding doesn't just help them pay for a program, but it helps them leverage themselves to get other funding. When you get ready to go out to have funding from other agencies, they want to know, has your community funded you? And it's easily say, I'm a United Way recipient. Every single proposal that comes in is a great proposal for a valid reason, for a legitimate program that needs funding, and we don't have the funds. It is quite overwhelming when you really see the needs in our community as well as understand the outcomes that they're trying to achieve. We need to bring in more dollars. This community can support it. There's no doubt in my mind that this community can support it. Ten dollars combined with ten dollars from a hundred other people allow you to implement programs in our community that change lives. And I mean really change lives. It can take people from poverty to prosperity. And that $10 or $20 a week that you gave five years ago is a child walking across the stage and graduating now. And then all of a sudden, you see the impact. <music>